G'day, g'day, your bloody legends, Laser Beam welcomes you. You're in for a treat. Today we've got something fucking spectacular. So let's say you have a terrible idea, but you execute it beautifully. Kinda like a toilet on a balcony. Can I get some privacy, please? <sighs> So that's the theme of today's episode on the Laser Beam channel. Um, yeah, just people doing stupid shit, but doing it well. Like, let's say you really want eyeballs on the back of your head, so you get a tattoo. That's that's a fucking terrible idea. You will look like a monster. But if you're gonna do it, you do it bloody right. <laughs> that man has eyeballs on the back of his head. A uh, fuck it, it looks terrifying. Booga booga! But he did a great job of it. It's really well drawn. Uh, he shaved his head so it has eyebrows and a moustache. Once again, awful idea. Great execution. I found a great comment. That's some prison sex prevention type shit. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> Because if you think about it, um, someone creeps up on you in the shower in prison, they're gonna have that staring back at him. No one wants to look at that why they're doing it. That is genius then. Now, now it all makes sense. So you get the idea of what we're checking out today. It's gonna be a fun one. Oh, I remember this one. It's Conor McGregor. He made a suit that says fuck you. That's genius. There's lots of little fuck yous like on the, on the stripes. <laughs> Um, how about go fuck yourself? This was a great idea. What do you, what do you mean awful idea? Because like, I don't, I don't know, some people like got outraged at this, calling it classless, calling it tacky. You know what I say to those people? Stop being a pussy. And also, it was part of the whole build the hype for the fight. It, I mean, it was all a circus, right? But they all made like a hundred million dollars. So I think you're just a jealous little bitch. This suit was great. I want one of these. How? To get a fuck you suit. $6,500. Look, we get 100,000 likes on this video. I will buy myself a fuck you suit. It would be a lot more effective if Floyd could read. You get it? Because Floyd Mayweather can't read. Floyd Mayweather's not going to be very insulted if he can't even read what it says. He's worth, a, what, half a billion dollars? The dumb shit can't read. I mean, I don't want to make fun of someone who's illiterate, but, like, pay a tutor or some shit. This upside down truck. Um, I have one word for this one. That is absolutely insanely amazing. Hey guys, no, it's just an Australian truck. <laughs> you get it? Cause they say Australia is upside down. No, it's it's you that's upside down. Anyway, this is fantastic. This is what like time and money gets you. An upside down truck. Imagine seeing this driving down the road while on LSD. <laughs> Pro tip, don't do LSD while driving. But imagine if you were, on LSD. You'd think everything was like flipped around. <laughs> I don't know, I've never done drugs. Never, no. Holy shit, I found a video. Oh my God. <laughs> yes, that is sick. What a legend. Oh my gosh. It's got the ladies turning heads. <laughs> Number plate says flip over. We'll see, ladies. Ladies are checking it out. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. That's how you get yourself a granny. Wait, what am I talking, what? Frosted tips. Oh, this is not gonna end well. Oh, what am I saying? Dude looks like an echidna. That's an Australian, that's basically an Australian porcupine for you. He, yeah, okay, once again, awful idea. He's looking straight out of the bloody 90s, but great execution. It looks like they're perfectly frosted. Reddit comments back being savages. 1999 was a hell of a year. See, I told you, straight out of the 90s. I was five in 1999, and even I knew that that shit was awful, and it should have died with the new millennium. Yeah, the 90s, where everyone looked like an echidna. Who wore it better? Once again, though, great execution. <laughs> we got another tattoo, lads. The dude looks like he tattooed himself sitting in a fucking Rick and Morty spaceship. I, I don't think that tattoo is a good idea, Rick. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez, Rick. Shut up, Morty. Tattoo Rick. Yeah, I'm a fangirl of that show. It's a bloody clean tattoo, though, so great execution. Shout out to the tattoo artist. Um, But that tattoo artist should be thrown in jail because anyone that allows... A person to do that. They should. They should. They should be in prison. All right. Here's a bigger photo. Shows his nips. I'm not. I'm not sure. Are the nips the lights on the spaceship? Are they? Are they the rocket boosters? I'm just really uncomfortable. God damn. This is the best. These are truly humanity's worst ideas. The worst ones are always the tattoos because they're permanent. You, you. You're not getting rid of that, bro. Oh my god. I'm dying. <laughs> the titty twister van. <laughs> yeah, that's an awful idea. I'm pretty sure you're gonna get arrested for lewd images. 
like showing titties. Looks like uh, looks like looks like fucking He Man's enjoying that shit though. Looks like he likes some nipple action. Not judging. Not judging. I think this comment's right. It looks like a wicked camper van from Australia. Like backpackers come to Australia, they drive around in these vans, and they always have the funniest shit on them. Sometimes more weird shit. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Here's what the wicked camper vans look like. Got one with like Chuck Norris on it. Oh, it's a Grand Theft Auto one. That's pretty cool. That's an egg hump and a chicken. Who came first, the chicken or the egg? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I always thought eggs came out of chickens, not inside them. I'm sorry, unsubscribe. Just unsubscribe. Someone made a stick shift out of a katana. Mate, that is just lit fire car. Whatever the bloody kids are saying these days. Shut up, I'm old. There's no awful taste there. No, that's a great idea. That's actually sick and creative. I wish there was a way to make more custom type of stick shifts. Actually, let me look. Custom stick shifts. Oh, and, and no surprise, someone made one out of a dildo. Red? Why the color red? Oh, he's got a taxidermy squirrel that he turned into a pencil case? How, how could you disrespect something more than turning its corpse into a pencil case? Like, imagine if after you died, like, someone stuck Sharpies in your corpse. Yeah, this is awful. This is, this is really awful. Really awful. But great execution. Looks really well made. He's got the whole zipper in there. Uh, the squirrel looks really well taxidermied. Yeah, it's great execution. I feel terrible for saying it, but good job. Uh, someone tattooed the SpongeBob meme on them. Oh God! What is it with what is with people and these tattoos just being the worst things in the world? I don't even. I have no words. Just chop your leg off. It's the only only solution. This double-ended van. What the what the ball sack is this? What is this supposed to be? It's a two-sided van. This isn't even funny. It's just like why? How can you see where you're going? How does this drive? It's an art installation. That's the equivalent to throwing shit on a canvas and saying, "It's not disgusting. It's not stupid. It's art." Oh my god, the tattoos continue to live up to the hype. This dude tattooed a world heavyweight title belt on his gut. Imagine being intimate with someone for the first time. He takes off his shirt and this is staring back at you. Who wouldn't want to sleep with the world heavyweight champion of the world? Look at this very insightful comment. This is a human turd. Can't say I disagree. You have to respect the dedication though. This guy is obviously a big wrestling fan. I'm a big Tom Brady, Patriots, NFL fan. If I, if I got drunk enough, I could, I'd probably think it was a good idea to get Tom Brady tattooed on me. That's gotta be a tattoo though, let's Google that. Okay, well now I've, I've changed my mind. No amount of alcohol could get me to put Tom Brady on my body. Not if it looks like that. This one's not even good execution, this is disgusting. It says puke and his belly button is puking. Yo, yo. Stop, stop, stop. Someone got, I guess, like a womb tattooed on them. They're giving birth to a cat, a cat. Yo, yo, do me a favor and uh, stop. That's a stop sign. Fucking stop, stop. Oh, my dude. This is legendary. This is the best one. <laughs> this dude painted the side of a car to make it look like he's constantly taking his shit as he drives along the road. And can I just say, after seeing all those terrible tattoos, like I'm scarred for life, this has refreshed me. Look at that man's genuine smile. He knows how freaking legendary he is. Coming soon to Laser Beam's Ute. I'm gonna copy this man. Oh, someone installed a skull sink. That's terrifying. Imagine going in there of a night time like you do when you nightly piss, as everyone does. And like just having that staring at you. I'd be scared when I'm washing my hands, it'll bite me knob off. Cause it's like, it's, it's perfect height. Don't laugh, it's a legitimate fear. I will say it's like, it's just so well made. That's what's getting me about this whole thing. So much artistic talent for the stupidest shit. <laughs> Someone made a dick pool. You know this, like, you could actually probably relive being a sperm in this pool. You know, swimming upstream, getting shot out and all that stuff. Being a sperm all over again. Because I have no memory of being a sperm, so like, it'd be good to experience it. That was like the one time in my life I was the best. I'm so proud of it. I broke through and a bloody legend was born. I fucking won, you bitches. I won. Here's a bunch of bear hedges having sex. That appears to be a threesome, I believe. Threesome of bear hedges. It's a doggy's. It's bears, bears going at it. Are they going to the dick pool garden? Is that just like one giant thing? People have too much money. I mean, if I was monetized and I was building a house, this, this is what I'd do. And if that's awful tasteful, you can go to buggery. That's a classic right there. Okay, I think that's going to top it for tattoos. This dude got Anne Frank tattooed on his face. Well, there you go. That's the video. Humanity's worst decisions 27. Actually, real quick, this one just says ball sack. Okay, it's a backpack that looks like a ball sack. Where do I buy this? Oh, apparently it's an Indiegogo campaign. But they didn't make enough money, so it was never made. This made me feel great about every decision I've ever made. <laughs>
about the bloody like button, you're all a bunch of bloody legends. Thanks for your support. I will see all you fellas later. Check out this video, and as always, cheers, fellas. Laser God, laser beard, laser face, mate, drop the bass. He's laser beam, like a gamer's dream. He ain't the bitch when playing Polybridge.